What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Riley Ridley, wide receiver, Georgia. Um, so, the first thing I should probably mention is he is the younger brother of Calvin Ridley, the wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. He uh, got drafted last year. Um, I, I'm not going to talk about his brother a whole lot in this video. I just figured I should mention it. Um... He, uh, I, I think this guy is the best route runner in this class, to be honest with you. Um, his hands are very consistent. Um, no issues with that whatsoever. Um, he has very good nimble feet. He, uh, very agile. He can turn on a dime. You know, um, he's not a particularly big receiver. He's about 6'1". About 200, just 200, maybe 199, something like that. Uh, not particularly big, but not small either. Um, yeah, he's got very, very nimble feet. Uh, he gives some great head fakes, and uh, he, he really sets the defender up like that. He, he He's fast enough to get the job done, but he's not going to completely burn you. He got a uh, four five eight in the 40, which is decent. It's about average for a wide receiver, um, but he's not—he's not gonna beat you with his speed. He's gonna beat you with his route running. Um, he's very good at setting the defender up. You know, he'll—he uh, has a lot of different moves in his arsenal as far as route running goes, and he—he—he he, he can do hand fight if you press him. You know, um, yeah, if he's trying to do a slant, he'll fake outside and come back in to. Uh, Try to get the defender going the wrong direction. You know, stuff like that. Just little nuanced stuff like that. He's a very good nuanced route runner. Which is something I definitely love to see. Um, he uh, he dips his hips nice and low. I've, I've um, got onto some of these receivers cases about this. Some of them can't help it. You know, the bigger receivers have a hard time doing this kind of stuff. But he, he's one of the smaller ones. But... Uh, but he definitely gets his hips nice and low, um, particularly um, when he's breaking out of his routes, which is something that's very good because when you're trying to turn, when you turn your hips and you uncoil them, it it, it allows you to explode um, and get better acceleration and get a nice little burst. So, for example, on a post, if you're running straight um, and you just you're just standing straight and you try to turn, you're not going to turn as quickly. As if, you know, you run straight, get your hips nice and low, and then turn, and then just use all that torque and just push yourself forward. You get so much, you get so much more speed out of your, on your, uh, on your cuts that way. Um, he, and like I said, he's got very explosive hips that just goes along with, uh, with him getting so low. And, um. One thing too, he doesn't he doesn't seem to really lose any speed on his brakes. Um, he he pretty much turns his brakes pretty much full speed, which is something I definitely definitely love to see. Um, he's also got a very good route IQ. He his route tree is actually pretty good. Um, I've I've seen him run all different types of routes. I've seen Georgia move him around quite a bit. You know. Uh, I've seen him play pr primarily outside. I've seen him play some slot. Um, I really like this guy in the slot, for sure. Um, I think that's where he's going to make a lot of his money. I think he can definitely get you some yards um, yards after the catch, for sure. Um, like I said, he's got very nimble feet. He's not going to burn you with his speed at all, but if you want to give him some... If you want to give him the ball on some bubble screens... He can definitely get some yak for you. He's got very nimble feet, and he, he'll make some people miss for you. Um, but I think this guy is the pure is the best pure route runner in this lead, in this draft rather. And uh, he he's probably my second my second receiver this year, besides maybe uh, AJ Brown. At least so far, there's still some guys I want to take a look at first before I really make that declaration. But um, anyway, that's it for this video. If you liked it, 
Uh, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments down below. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.